new theory of osteoarthritis development. Reported in Johns Hopkins Medicine and Science Codex, a new theory of how osteoarthritis develops has a lot of heads turning. Instead of seeing this painful, degenerative disease as a problem primarily of the cartilage that cushions joints, they now have evidence that the bone underneath the cartilage is also a key player and exacerbates the damage. They found that blocking the action of a critical bone regulation protein in mice halts progression of the disease. The prevailing theory on the development of osteoarthritis focuses on joint cartilage, suggesting that unstable mechanical pressure on the joints leads to more and more harm to the cartilage and pain to the patient until the only treatment option left is total joint replacement. The new theory, however, reported in Nature Medicine suggests that initial harm to the cartilage causes the bone underneath it to behave improperly by building surplus bone. The extra bone stretches the cartilage above and speeds its decline. If there is something wrong with the leg of your chair and you try to fix it by replacing the cushion, you haven't solved the problem, says Zhu Kao, PhD, director of the Center for Musculoskeletal Research in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. We think that the problem in osteoarthritis is not just the cartilage cushion, but the bone underneath, he adds. When you click on the button below, you'll get access to a page where you can sign up to receive a free portfolio of information that will give you the inside scoop on how stem cells can help you if you have osteoarthritis, the science, the biology, and most importantly, the results. See you on the other side.